Hey. Yeah, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about... It's not a cold open. That's just That is you. a cold open. I don't think we can do a cold open because you guys are so conscious of the cold open. Yeah, I don't think we can do a cold open. I don't think you, know, you guys are... I, I, I don't think you guys... I got you. The, the being conscious of a cold open is the reason... What is that? What are you doing? I'm going to use this. Why? Why? What's you're your, ruining You're ruining the dichotomy of everything, black though. today. Why? Just am. You can't. You're white. You can't feel black. Okay. You can't identify as a black person. That's insane. What a great way to start a golf a cold open. I feel black today. You know what I haven't stopped thinking about? What? What? The fact that my handshake was a talk of the party yesterday. Your handshake? Yeah. Yes. Everyone went up to her after and got a handshake from her and was like, "Wow, Why? very firm, very demure." They, they said I have a really good handshake. They did. Like very firm, like firm, very like strong. confident, strong. Congress. Yeah, I didn't like that. Why? It was like because it, it was good, right? Do it again, but I'm gonna I'm gonna come in with more power. I'm gonna come in with way more. Yeah, because you know what it is. You assume that as a woman, she can't give a firm handshake, so you pulled back on the handshake a little bit, which is not okay. You know, we're very equal in this room. Except when Frogan says she wants to be black. <laughs> then it's like, fucked up. Why would you say that? Bleep that F word because we're in the th first 30 seconds of this. I think we've been past the cold open. We're still in the cold, cold open. Is that good? I think he's trying to hurt me on purpose. No, I'm but not. Is it I'm just shaking. He's, he's like, I know, you know, men do that shit. What? I'll go to shake a dude's hand for like business and they'll do this. Come here. They do this to me. I'm not joking. I'm going to trump you. <laughs> I'm trumping. I'm trumping you, dude. <laughs> His handshake was not great. Not a good handshake. How can he run our country he if he doesn't have a good handshake? <laughs> oh! I shook his hand, felt like a woman. I asked him what lotion he used. He said it was mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. I said, not cool. Not good. Mayonnaise. Hands. Apologize right now. Hands made of eggs. Apologize. Oil. <laughs> See, you had a fun ride with your fucking handshake. I don't want a fun ride yeah, with my handshake. Yeah, you like that ride? <laughs> I don't want to jump on me. You like that and ride? I got nothing. Oh my God. You don't want that. I do. What, you want a Trump You want shake? a fun ride? God damn, dude. Yeah, give her, give her a little <laughs> fun <laughs> ride, dude. Can you grab my hand, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's what you get. The whole studio's fucked now. I did not touch her. It's not so fun, huh? Chair. Apologize to me right now. Your chair, it's got to be fixed. Your Go chair fix is your fixed. chair right now fix in America. Chair. Fix your chair. chair. Make it straight. Giraffe Ula chair, he. I know you love my ass, but don't put it in the wide. I would just put someone else's ass right now oh, over yeah, the put, screen. Grab, grab any, anyone any, else's ass. Anybody's ass that you like. And every time Frogan's butt appears, just put that ass. Yeah, over that's it. gonna be what's gonna happen from now yeah, on. Yeah, I, I like that a lot actually. So it all my favorite on each part other. of Arab is when I'm watching it and then I see my my wedgie in the camera on the wide. And she's clenching too. Are you so watching? Like, I'm not it's though. Like that. It's like tight. You? I'm not clenching. Bro, it you just clenching. thirst over yourself. That's fucking weird. <laughs> no. Is it weird to thirst over yourself? I'm not thirsting yeah, over myself. Yeah, that's fucking weird. Skittish, am I okay in the camera frame? Yeah. On her, yeah, like, on her, on her, on yeah, her cam. Very demure, very mindful. Move over a little bit to the right. To the right. All right. To so right. today we're going to be talking about Walt Frogan's well, we ass. We got to do Wallahi camera. Wallahi. Yeah. Wallahi. You, you guys suck. And by you guys, I mean me. Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in. We're not there yet, though. Wallahi. Frogan's got to get her butt up onto the chair. Get your butt out of the edit, screen. Edit the butt. Don't look at her butt, Scoot. Stop, what Scoot. Fuck, you Scoot? look. Scoot, what the fuck? You look Scoot. right in there. You stare at her Scoot. Ass. You stare deep into the black <laughs> look hole, how he's, dude. He's looking down at his Game Boy now because <laughs> he's in shape. I mean, the outfit today I'm, I'm wearing is not revealing. You know, I'm wearing a <laughs> Scoot's cloak. eyes went right through you. You didn't see it from our angle. He he x-rayed vision. How could you see it from our angle? He went you like, turned around. He was like this. <laughs> do Cartoon something, eyes. drafts or do something with that. I don't Cartoon know. Cartoon eyes. Yeah. Do anything. Am I better now, Skitty? Yeah. I need not sit the way I'm sitting. All yeah. right. Say wallahi. 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 What? Hold on. Wallahi. Wallahi. Hold on. I'm waiting for Frogan to put her tip back on. Wallahi. Wallahi. 
Speaking of babies. To another episode of the A-Rabs podcast. This week we're talking about Chappelle Roan. Oh, we're talking about Demure, Mindful. Mm-hmm. And we're talking about other things that I don't want to talk about in the beginning because you may not say the end. Kamala Harris. Anyways, so. Can we talk about how we're doing a podcast with an old man? That's just. That's me. Continue. Yeah, continue. It's Chapel Roan. It's Chapel Roan. Uh, where Chappelle Roan? Where I come from, we call him Chappelle. No, it's not a him. It's not it's, Dave Chappelle. It's not Dave Chappelle. I thought it was like. It's not a play on Chappelle. It's a play on Chapel, like I, going to church. Can I be honest? I know you motherfuckers learned about Ch- Chappelle Roan Chapel. just at the same time I did. No. No. no yes, you did because no. she showed us hot to go and you were like, who showed us hot to go? And we were on a boat. And we were talking yeah, about this. And, and now I showed him Chapel Roan a while way ago. Way before. And How long ago? Amanda is like the one May, who showed I me showed the him. dance. Okay. Like, what is that? You learned about it in May. I'm learning about it in fucking August. No, I learned about it in like June. That's not that long ago. I knew, Don't act I, like I knew a fan. of her way before that. I'm sorry. She's been doing this for 10 years. A real fan would have been part of 10 years. The people who are years. Arabs fans today... In 10 years from now, they're going to go, I was in A-Rabs. I want to make a school. cult uh, out of this. I want to like get a little cabin and like in the woods somewhere you where we c- can all go and make like linens for cheap or something. Fan meetup? No, but there's, they stay there. It's a cult. Fan meetup? It's a cult. Dude, did you watch the Meat Canyon video of the Costco guys? I didn't watch it, but I did. I, I saw some of it. I don't like it. Was it the 9-11 one? <laughs> no. It's- no, it, he like captures... It's like the kids go to Costco and then the dad is like like sells off the kid and gets a new kid. Oh, I saw it. it I was hated good. it. And then like he made Big Justice lose weight and he was like a slave in like a yeah, random country yeah, yeah, like yeah. harvesting cocoa beans. I didn't like it. Was it was wild. I like it. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're talking about. We're also trying to educate uh, Capri on Chapel. Chapel Roan. Okay, can you give me a history of Chapel Roan? Yeah, go ahead. Chapel Roan is an artist from the Midwest, Tennessee. Okay. 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 Uh, She was signed to a big label, got dropped, got kind of big on TikTok, went on tour with Olivia Rodrigo, um, and I think that kind of gave her her boost. Uh, Uh, Can I ask you a question? Olivia Rodrigo and Sabrina Carpenter are like the new Disney wave to like boomers like me. They're not Disney. I mean, they were on Disney, but like they're basically the Ariana Grande's. Of your generation, yeah, but you have to understand, like, yeah, that's but what, what were Disney they on? Does they well, sell musicians? They were on but what were they on on Disney? I don't, I don't know the shows they're on. Uh, I don't know the like, shows. Girl, Meets World. Girl Meets World. Oh, Girl Meets World. People watch that. And what were was they on Girl Meets I, World? I think Sabrina Carpenter was. I don't know. I think S- okay. Olivia Rodrigo, Rodrigo was on uh, Bizarre Bart. Oh yeah. Oh High right, school right, musical. right, right, right. Um. So yeah, they they're like the Ariana Grande's of our generation, where like Ariana Grande was big from Victorious, and then she started like a music career, yeah. and people separated her completely from her child actress days. Well, what those what you know what Nickelodeon, what Disney do, they take in musicians, young musicians, and they make them. And famous. then what they do is they make them famous through TV shows, and then from there they then you know sign to the labels, and then go from there. So if they want to be a musician, that's kind of just the pathway that they kind of go on. Can I be just a- they want to do the same thing in Justin Bieber, but Usher's like, nah, I'm not doing that shit. Can I be honest? There's I this is just hypothetical. Most Disney people that come out of Disney are all fucking weird. Um, because like I haven't seen a normal one. Because like imagine you're a child actor, then like that you work from your 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 kidness, and then all of a sudden you got a job, and then like you end up being an adult, and they're always fucking weird. Yeah, but okay. I don't know. Maybe this is the new gen. Maybe they're they're not weird. Maybe well, there's a been lot, going on lot more regulation. Time. Nickelodeon fucked up Big Time Rush. Nickelodeon fucked up everyone. In the sense of, like, after the show was done, they couldn't make music until they bought the rights yeah. to Big Time Rush, which took 10 years. I always feel like people during that gen, like, working as a kid, it, like, fucks your brain up. I don't know. Yeah. That's so my personal thing. Only person, I, think actors, I mean, I think the only person who's kind of maybe normal is just Jason Bateman. Who? Jason Bateman? Yeah. He was a child actor? Yeah. No, for what? I don't remember the show, but he was a child actor. For like, in the first. 80s? When he was, whatever, whenever he was a kid. Look him up really quick. I didn't know that. Jason Bateman, Jason Bateman was, a, was child? a child actor. Yeah, I love Jason Bateman. He All right, I take it back. Actor. I forgot what he was on though. But yeah, yeah. anyways, to so. reel it back in, she opened for Olivia Rodrigo on her tour. I think it started at the end of last year and went through this year, mm-hmm. and then like she had a burst of fame mm-hmm. at her Coachella performance, and it's just been like out of control since for her. Yeah, it's been kind of 
on a good up uphill mm-hmm. battle. I mean, like her Midwest Princess album is a great album. It's really good. Her other songs on her other albums, it's 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 good. It's not the same as what this album is at all. This is more upbeat, more kind of like eighties eighties pop. Eighties pop. Party pop. Girl empowerment. Uh gay club pop. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's a different vibe for her, but it works. It works for it her. It was basically like her final album she was going to release before she kind of like gave up on music. Yeah. So um, redemption but, story, you know what I mean? Yeah. I Genuinely, what I need to do, like this is like a side note for me. So in my phone, I have like a list of like skipless albums. Mm-hmm. I need to like listen to it from start to finish. Yeah. I do think I classify it as a skipless album. From the beginning to the end? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have a skipless album? Yeah. What? Mortal Kombat 1994. The movie or the they they I just found it. Yeah. They released a soundtrack. I was just showing Scoot in the car. Yeah. I wanted to talk about this on the pod. Well, good. We're talking about okay. it. Okay. They released a soundtrack in the 90s that is definitely by people who made 90s dance but had no idea what Mortal Kombat was. <laughs> <laughs> so like the lyrics are Chinese ninja warrior. <laughs> I to, like, it's by the band is called the Immortals. It's so bad. But the whole album, I don't know if it was because I like listened to it as a kid. It slaps. Like it goes so hard, but it's very much an underground 90s dance album. It's very skipless. Uh, to be quite frank, serious albums, I would say AFI's Black Sails in the Sunset is one of my like top albums of all time. Who? Who? AFI. Who's AFI? You, Miss Mur- Hey, Miss Murder, can I? You don't know that song? You oh, know AFI? yeah. Like, okay. You sang it in the wrong That's- fucking tune. Hey, Miss Murder, can I? It's not that high pitch. Take my life. Oh. I think it is. It is. Hey, Miss Murder. <laughs> That's what we did. No, you did it. We literally sing it the same. Yeah, we sing, 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 sing it the same. We'll do it together. Okay, we're gonna one, harmonize. Yeah, yeah. and then we'll watch. It's not gonna be harmony. We'll we're all gonna this. be singing the same note. And then okay. we'll watch Chappelle's own thing. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Hey, hey Miss Matter, can, can I? I? <laughs> this is a flop. Take my but on my on my album list, I have a bunch of albums. But from the top of my head, I have Bad Sons, Language and Perspective. Okay. Um. I have Toxicity, System of a Down, Move Along by the All-American Rejects, the 1975 self-titled album. I have so many. I, I think I have like 20 albums on there so far. And whenever I, I listen to a good one a few times and solidify it, I add it to my list. So is this one going to be on your list? Potentially. Can we, pretty can we deep dive into our like top favorite music on the Patreon today? Because I've actually wanted to talk to you guys sure. about Yeah, that. sure. Why Pretty not? Tight. So you guys can check that out on the Patreon. Five dollars a month. That's or you all become you a member. The YouTube members. You know yeah, you, you can, can be a member, a member right now. Right now on YouTube, and you can watch. You don't it. have to go to a secondary site. You don't have to go to Patreon. You can do it right here on YouTube. And if you get the five dollar tier, you get access to our exclusive Discord server. Yep. And we also post, you know, an extra thirty minutes to an hour of podcasts every week, and some other content when it comes up. And then mm-hmm. you also have access to the live shows when we do it. We just had our most recent live show last week. Thank you guys for Dude, coming yeah, it out. Was that was so awesome. good. I'm so proud of our live show, by the way. You're welcome. We this did almost is for live streamers. No, but it was really funny. It was really it was a funny. good time. We've gotten to some. It's it's still up, by the way. You yeah. can go watch it. We got into some really deep topics. Like it was actually like. Did, did we? we? Yeah, we did. We talked about uh, Raph being agreeable, not agreeable. Like we actually had like a good conversation. And then Scooters called in. We had a good. So conversation. once again, I carried the pot. <laughs> um, <laughs> where would we be without Raph? Where would you guys be without me? Probably right here. Or just me and Fro. We talked about me and Frogan not hosting a podcast by ourselves. Yeah, I know. That was, yeah, we did talk about that. Yeah, because Capri said that he doesn't want to hang out with me by. I excuse us. You weren't here for it. Scoot, Capri said that me and him can't hang out by ourselves because it's weird. I said that the vibes were off when it's me, you, and Frogan, but it's fine when it's you, Raph, and Frogan. See, I didn't think the vibes were off at all. Why would you say that? I didn't like the vibes. <laughs> <laughs> 
He was like, he's like me and Scooter. He was like, no, I said me and Scooter fine together. He was like, me and Scooter can hang out alone. Yeah, that's what um, I said. That's mean. No, I was being nice. How's that nice? Uh, it's, it's, me, he's saying, me, he's saying, it's mean to me. And then he's no, like, I'm not being mean to Frogan. Here's the thing: no one ever hangs out with me by themselves. To be honest, that's not true. It's very, yeah. What are you talking about? That's you not true. To a coffee shop. I mean, you hung out for an entire yeah, week. Yeah, like two months ago. Is that two months ago? You guys don't give to, me that you guys, look. You guys hang out every day by Granted, yourselves. It's been a while. That's work. Can I be honest with you? <sighs> you guys work. went to the party together, and you didn't invite me to your homes to come and see the house. And my cousin asked yesterday, he "Goes, can we go stop by Frog and Raps' house?" I go, "They don't want us there, buddy. I don't want you there." See, stop and by Frog and Raps' house while we're at a party. On the way to the party to pregame with my friends and hang out. Oh, we weren't there. Yeah, we we. What were you guys doing at the party? Before the party, driving to the party, playing VR. I had therapy before the party. Yeah, this is why I don't try to hang out with you alone. Why? Because I just did right now, and I was like, I wanted to hang out with you guys. And you, you didn't guys... ask. What do you mean you just did? We're here at the studio. It's impossible for us to hang out alone right now. I know. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna hang know, out with all. How about this? We hang out each one. Okay, I have an idea. I have a fucking idea. The we last do, time you and no, I hung out one hold on one, hold on. We were at a brewery. And we were talking about your most recent breakup. That was good, though. It was good for me. It was good for you. How, Let how me tell you this? what happened with Raffi the other day. It's relative to Chapel Row. And we're listening to Chapel Row on our way home now. And I was like, Raffi, we should go to the Pink Pony Club. He's like, yeah, you should. It's not bad. That's not what happened. He said, yeah, you should. No, you said, you said, uh, you said, I want to go to the Pink Raffi, Pony Club. I said, Raffi, we should go to the Pink Pony Club. You didn't Club. say we. I swear my life it is. And then he said, I, you yeah. You said, I want to go. I, and I was like, yeah, you should. You should I go said, like, on a Sunday. Should. You should go like on a Saturday then, or Sunday. And then when you said, like, yeah, you should. I was like, okay. I have an idea to solve this. I have an idea. So I was like, I was like, okay. This is going to solve it. We need, we we need do to a have podcast. a gay representative we, with us if we're going to go no, to a No, we club. do a podcast where two people sit here and they do a podcast and then we speed date, you know, which one can hang out alone and we flip it like Scootish and me will do the pod and then we flip it, me and then rap. We hang out for an hour every day. No, but we do. Two a, hours. We do a Patreon episode where it's just. For the ride there and the ride. We don't two, even talk. Okay, so from the right there, we don't talk. Okay, it's too a early. Patreon episode where it's just two people talking. I want to do, I want to do fun shit so you don't associate me with work. Okay, what do you want to do? When do we have time to do anything? I know exactly, precisely. Can we? Wait, but my idea listen, was still out there. We're neighbors. We could get like lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Here's yeah, why. Do lunch, here's why I don't. Is, no, I know, I'm joking. But whenever you're like, "Yeah, you should," I was like, "Okay." Here's why I don't hang you out. You should go to the Pink Pony Pink Pony Club. I've been there. I said you we. Need to go I there. said we, and you said yes. You said I. I said we. You said I. I swear to God, when I said we, I and you hit me with you, well, then I, I misheard you because I, I thought people. you said I, and I, of I'm course I would go with you, but you said I want to go. I was like, I think you should go. We should go. Oh well, oops, a daisy. My bad. Where's my black thing? Everyone is off. You're gonna puff me? No, I was gonna okay. make sure I had it. Back to this. We do a Patreon episode. Oh, we could do it and we could talk music and we could do the, the speed dating of who could. That's hang a different alone. episode. We'll do two different ones. Okay. Okay. Let's talk about Chapel Run. So, what's going on with Chapel Run right okay, now? Okay, so I really want to talk about it. Chapel has. I don't want to say she's been under fire. She's been pretty supported in what she posted. So, yeah. uh, a couple days ago, she posted like a two series TikTok talking about her experiences with her quick rise to fame and her fan experiences she's having and how she's very really uncomfortable with it. I have thoughts that are kind of like. I think Let, it, let's let's watch it. Yeah, because I I, I've, I've watched some of it and and I tend to. Uh, Is this the first video she posted about? We're yeah, watch I both. so I sent the part one and part two to him, okay. and then she posted a. Follow up. Oh, my chest. Uh oh, asthma attack content. Are you having an asthma attack or no. is that anxiety? Okay, here we go. Neither. Okay, let's see. I need you to answer questions. Just answer my questions for a second. If you saw a random woman on the street, would you yell at her from the car window? Would you harass her in public? Would you go up to a random lady and say, Can I get a photo with you? Yes. And she's like, No, what the fuck? And then you get mad at this random lady? Um, would you be offended if she says no to your time because she has her own time? Would you, would you stalk her family? Would you follow her around? Would you try to dissect her life and bully her online? This is a lady you don't know. Um, and she doesn't know you at all. 
Would you assume that she's a good person? Assume she's a bad person? Would you assume everything you read about her online is true? I'm a random bitch. You're a random bitch. Just think about that for a second, okay? So, let's just so let's that's, watch that's the first one. That's the first no, part oh, we're going to watch the second part yeah, right now. Okay. Because I have a lot of thoughts on this, too. I do, too, and I feel really... Cool. Uh, You're, we're we're going to disagree. We probably are. Okay. Here what else that? is new? Abuse and harassment, stalking, whatever, is a normal thing to do to people who are um, famous or a little famous, whatever. I don't care that it's normal. I don't care that... This crazy type of behavior comes along with the job, the career field I've chosen. That does not make it okay. That doesn't make it normal. I don't, it doesn't mean I want it. It doesn't mean that I like it. I don't want whatever the fuck you think you're supposed to be entitled to whenever you see a celebrity. I don't give a fuck if you think it's selfish of me to say no for a photo or for your time or to, for a hug. That's not normal. That's weird. It's weird how people think that you know a person just because you see them online or you listen to the art they make. That's fucking weird. I'm allowed to say no to creepy behavior. Okay? I don't care that. So cool. that's that's a part, the part one. So th she posted a few days ago and then she followed up. Don't read the Instagram yet. That's like days after. And then there was obviously debate online with the TikTok she posted. Okay. Um. I agree with her for the most part, but the I guess the part I don't agree with her with is I don't think it's weird for people to ask for pictures. I don't consider that stalker behavior, but I do think it's okay for her to say no. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I feel like th there's, there's like two things that like happen. It's like when you're a celebrity, you are famous and that's someone's one experience to meet you and say hi to you and stuff. But like if it's to the point where like you can't even go outside, it fucks up your life. It's weird, right? Like, so I agree. I agree with her, like, 100%. But the, the fact of the matter is that, like, it also is some people's first time seeing that person, and they're excited, and they're like, you're my favorite. I listen to you, blah, blah. But there's, like, so it's, like, kind of fucked for the celebrity to be like, I just don't want to talk to you. Like, it does feel bad. But at the end of the day, that one person can't meet every single fan. It's just not going to happen. So you're putting this all on her and being like, you have to meet all, all these people. It's fucked. So I don't know. The, the I think that... The, the root of the problem is the glorification of celebrities. Like there's like these holier than now people and they're amazing. Mm -hmm. We put them on this fucking pedestal and then we realize like, Oh my God, they're human beings. And I, me and me and her don't agree on everything. She actually kind of sucks. She has like bad opinions and it's like, yeah, she's a human. And like, it's just like we put these people on a pedestal and then after a while we like tear the pedestal down and then we like try to cancel them. Cause we're like, we're they actually weren't the people that I made up in my head. And I think like the whole celebrity culture is just bullshit. Like I, I've seen celebrities in person. I just go, oh, that's cool. There's that person. But there's people that I want to go up to and be like, hey. You yeah, know? I can't remember the last time I actually wanted a photo with a celebrity. It It's stupid. Usually if I meet someone who I admire in a celebrity format, I let them know that I'm like, hey, I like, but I don't ever say like, I love you. I'm always like, I like your, what you like your work. So it's like, it's weird. Yeah, but people are like crazy though, as far as like, you know, let me take a photo. Let me do this. Let me do that. Let me take all of that. I'm like, and it's just, it, in my head, I'm like, it doesn't, you don't need that. But the antithesis of that is like, you know, you're only successful because of the people who are loving you and loving your music. So to be like, no, and then to be angry with them for even asking you is a little weird. That's you know? the part that rubbed me the wrong way. So, um, but my thing is like, we don't know the full context. You know, she's very vague about the situation that happened. Nothing it's, really happened. No, oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it was just her. But, just but imagine how about, annoying it is. Sorry. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry. Like it, it's just celebrity culture. Like I used to be really into stand culture. Mm -hmm. I was part of fandoms. I ran fan accounts. I loved meeting the people of music I admire. Not saying I don't love it now, but I feel like I've definitely like. I'm not gonna like go out of my way mm -hmm. like I used to when I was younger. Well, there's also like, but a, I never crossed the line of like stalking. Yeah, okay. Uh, I did people did that shit to you, and you were fucking. Wait, hold on, hold on a second. Mind. You, you yeah, stalked you, one time. You did. Who did you wait, stalk? Hold on, I missed that. No, no, part. she said she was. I know, I know. You interrupted yeah. at a bad fucking. I know, moment. I know. Most of the time you interrupt, and it's bad. This one was really bad. Um, Wh who'd you stalk? It was Jack Barricat. 
You Yo. stalked him? I, I didn't stalk him. But you it, stalked it, him? It, it was like one of those things where like my friend was like, yo, he's at my hotel right now. So then I went to her hotel. And I met him. That's not really stalking. I mean, kind of is a little bit, right? That's that's fan behavior. Yeah, I was also I was I was seventeen years old. I was I was a kid. Yeah, I was young. You went but, to a hotel room with a celebrity at seven? No, I didn't go to a hotel room. He was in the hotel lobby. Mm. Well, I mean, it's Jack Barracat, so I mean, um, it, like for example, that's not stalking. Uh, even twenty nineteen. Okay, I was in New York and I saw Jake Gyllenhaal out getting lunch. Yeah, did uh, you go to him? No, I didn't. See, that's crazy. That's the one person. That's you the would, one person that would like you. Because would have I knew I was in this because I was seeing his Broadway show later that night. So I was like, I know I'm going to probably meet him oh, after the show. Okay. I think that you. Um, so I waited to meet him within context instead of like bothering him while he's like getting his life together. Yeah. Did yeah. I mentally tweak out? Absolutely, I did. I was like, what the fuck? Here, here's how we solve this crisis. You celebrities go. You can meet me here. No, because then you're you're requiring them to go someplace. If it's out in the wild. It's fine. You know, I, I just don't. And he was also. The thing is, is like, you know, it, it's up to us as fans as well to understand mm -hmm. that like, hey, this person's out and about. And if especially if they're with a family, yeah. like their family, like don't fuck with them. He was also saying some dumb shit like, about I me. Like I served, like I served, what? wait. You're like, you, you're trying to compare it to me. Yeah, dude, because you had a creepy ass fan come up to you. Yeah, but I was also very nervous because I was actively getting threats against my life. Yeah, but the fan was really creepy and got in your space like this close. So imagine like times a gazillion how many fucking creepers come up to you like that. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't okay. Like imagine. Shout out to Raph and Murr. What did we do? You got him away from me. Oh, that's true. But I was really high on mushrooms. But you still helped me out though. I did it with a smile on my face. Yeah. Murr was going to beat his ass. <laughs> with his little skinny legs. He's like, Murr's like, what's your problem? Yeah. He does that thing where like he's like a chicken and yeah, he's, he's like, like, yeah, he's dude. like stomping his little talons. <laughs> Remember when Murr tried fighting the guy at the club and then after he was like, I'm going to beat this I'm going to fight the guy. But he, but the guy. <laughs> he, was like, he already escorted out, which is crazy. He was escort. He was going to beat that guy. But I was like, dude, it was weird because I, I was the one who handled that situation. <laughs> yeah, but anyways, I mean, her being like, I'm a random fucking bitch. You're a random fucking bitch. Unfortunately, you're not a random fucking bitch anymore. They are closer to you as a celebrity than you are to them. It's a one-sided thing. Parasocial relationship. It's a parasocial relationship, yeah, for but, sure. But, okay, but at the end of the day, like, the whole system is fucked. Like, this, nobody should be famous. Look at fucking Hawk to a girl now doing fucking uh, memes on Twitter, doing X is the place to get news. Yeah, I'm 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 sick of her. Okay, you were a Hawk to a I stand. was I was a Hawk to a That's stand. That's why in the beginning. fame is stupid. And I'm like, this is ridiculous. Fame is the dumbest shit of all time. We need to end fame. Yeah. I'm down with it. No more fame because all these people they shit. All of them shit. You know Jack Bearcat shit. He doesn't bleep shit. it. I, that guy's a bad guy, right? You don't have to bleep don't it. Don't bleep it. Leave it in. He's a bad person. Okay, there. Thank you. So, anyways, he's a never mind. Say it. No, I'm not. He's a very bad person, right? That's what I was gonna say. Okay. Okay. You were gonna say something, but we talked about it for like eight weeks in a row. So, anyways, no, I wasn't gonna say anything. It wasn't make me look like a bad person. I don't feel like doing it. Oh, okay. So, but my thing is with this also is that I do, I think that there should be famous people. I don't like that's like the whole point of arts and entertainment is that like oh cool these like we have this like we should be looking up to these people, but. Why would you wait? Time, wait why, why, why let you, him finish. No, go ahead. We'll go ask your question. I'm, no, I'm saying let him finish because I have something I want to add because I was letting you finish and he fucking interrupts. So well, let, I want to hear the question. I want to argue with what he just said. Okay. You think that we should look up to people? Why would I look up to Chappelle we Rock? We should have, we should be able to have idols and whether we idolize their music or idolize something else, I think having idols is a good thing. It's not. You're appreciating their art. Like they're, who I mean, is a good listen. person that's famous? Name one motherfuckers. Uh, who was famous or is no? Who is famous. famous? Who's a good person that you're like? I idolize that human being. Angelina Jolie. She I don't wore her. her boyfriend's blood on her necklace. I would do the yeah, same thing. Yeah, so that's insane. Was you. that Billy? Was that Billy Bob? Billy also, Bob? She, she's not a good person. Next one. Why? Why is she not a good person? I don't know. But she I know adopted seventeen thousand kids, and she's actively she's active about like random shit in the world that. She active about Palestine? Yes. Yeah. 
I mean, oh, now she's a good person. I'm, I still don't want. I still single, don't want. Capri's I still, a single issue voter. I, I, I yeah, say, I know. Wait, did you say single issue boner or voter? voter. Number That's one, calm down. Boner. Single issue boner is funny. Sorry, I'm Palestinian, motherfuckers. Number two, get over it. All right, <laughs> you don't have a country anymore. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of your Palestinianness. All right, I don't just, bleep that. Leave that in. In fact, enhance the audio so everybody can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> Add an echo onto it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Reverb it. Okay, wait. <laughs> second, change my voice. Twelve pitches down. Make me sound demonic. <laughs> Put a little, put a little <laughs> yarmulke yeah. on top of the sack, uh, uh, and then throw vine the Israeli boom. flag up a green seven screen. vine booms. Okay, yeah. good. insert it here. Israeli flag? No, the the edited clip. Oh, oh. <laughs> what was the second part? You made him forget. I did forget. I still don't think you should put people on a pedestal. Oh, who's your pedestal person? I don't. Who she, I think is nice. Can I just yeah. say I don't have her on a pedestal? She's just the first person I, that I came to mind. I mean, if you want to get technical, I think Hassan's a good person. Robin Williams was good. Hassan's the worst. Oh, let's see. <laughs> let's see here. Hugh Jackman. I'm here. Usually, he's pretty good. Have there anything? Robin bad Williams him? is the one I can think of. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah but so because because person? the world didn't deserve him. Yeah, we didn't I think, deserve him. I think Hassan is a good person. I think Hassan's a good person, but I think that the idealization. I think he's just a normal dude. Oh, they're all normal people. Yeah, he's a normal guy, but like, I think he's a good, famous person. But it's not necessarily idolizing that person. It's more of an idolization of what they've created. It just so happens that that person's attached to it. Like, imagine if he lived in a world where, like, <laughs> I just don't. I just don't think. I think that we should. We. It's good to have people who are higher than us, or people who are more successful than us. But that's that so are, insane. That we idolize. I mean, why is that insane? You, like, I mean, for example, like even taking it out of the context of art, like scientists. It's the same as having religion. For examples. Yeah, scientists, for example. Like, there are, like, really top-of-the-line researchers that have multiple, that are, like, the name staples of their field. You know but, what I mean? But the reason why I don't like fandom and fame is it because it's not applied equally. Like, we put some scientists up there, and then there's, like, women scientists that actually invented the thing, and we, like, support the wrong people in that situation. You yeah, know, but like, idolization should not be a fair thing. Because then it becomes a dictatorship. Because if everybody idolizes the same person, everyone idolizes this one person becomes a god. So what I'm that's saying, how religion works. But that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that like the idea of celebrity is stupid because like. Do you want to be famous? No, I just oh, yeah, wanna, you do. No, he does not want. No, to I listen. do not want to be famous. He wants the fame because he thinks he's already famous, but he does not want the attention. No. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a call. Uh, here's the deal. I want to make content like I want to make videos and I do enjoy the art and I want people to watch that. Obviously, if you, you make should something care so much about views, you do want to be famous. No, I want to do this as a career. You want to be recognized. No, I don't. You do. No, I don't. Well, Does he not want to be recognized? This, if you want to do this as a career, you can't do it without the recognition. I know, but that's, you, that's you the negative You want people to recognize you in public and shit. No, I don't. No, I don't. I joke about it, but I don't. I really don't. I would rather I would rather go out in public every day and nobody knows who I am. And have a, a thriving podcast, a thriving YouTube career, a thriving everything, then the opposite, everyone recognizes me in public. It's more of a bit. Like, I don't, I genuinely don't care. There's the, okay, if I really did care, like, I would like genuinely get upset, like, that I'm not getting recognized. I do not give a shit. I do, because it's always awkward. Anytime someone comes up to me and talks to me, it's weird. How many times have people talked to Frogan? It was fucking weird. I get shy. I'm not going to lie. I get so get weird. Shy. It's not a I'm just good like, conversation. Like, oh, you I guys know. need to be like me. You guys Look. need to fly under the radar like I do. See, the thing about you flying under the radar is that you're, you're, it, it's not good to also fly under the radar. You want to be, here's, here's a good way. You know what? You know what I respect more when another creator that I like likes my stuff and they're like hey i because like because you stuff, view them as somebody on your level you view people that aren't creators as somebody below you because whoa that's fucked up class system no because am i wrong no i don't why, know why is the appreciation from somebody that's also a creator different than somebody that isn't a creator because he idolizes them whoa no here's the deal because those feel like co-workers and they're like hey man i like your shit whereas someone who's like a fan of you doesn't feel like a co-worker it kind of feels like Someone's just like you're cool, you're, and I'm like, don't, I'm not cool, I'm a piece of shit. Like, don't put me on a pedestal. You heard it here first. Next time somebody comes up to you and says, "Oh my god, Capri, I love you. I, I think you're cameras. so cool." Be like, I am. A I piece want of you to be shit. like, I'm a piece of shit. Don't like me. I did. I say that. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I say I'm a piece of shit all the time. No, I am. I am a piece of shit right now. Everyone, comment. The comment for this week is Capri's a piece of shit down below. Well, no, don't do that. The comment this week is Raph's awesome. And I can't wait to meet him. Do you want you know what? Take all my admiration. I'll take your admiration. There you go. I want 
I want to I want to have a, a platform like I want to have the platform, but I know that the fame part is annoying because like imagine you go to the store and you like eat and then someone comes and takes a picture of you and puts it on the fucking internet. Yeah, I mean, that's like, fucking there's, horrible. There's, the, there's you're okay. I agree. I don't think going up and just snapping pictures. I mean, even of just people in general, just doing that's that is, without permission is fucking weird. I agree. Also, even like, if you're a street photographer, most street photographers take a picture of somebody and they go, "Hey, I took this picture of you. I'm so sorry, but like, take a look at it. Do you like yeah. it? Or whatever." And then like they get permission. I, that I understand. the 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 inner workings of 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 what you should be doing when you are approaching somebody like that. I agree. Like it's it's fucked. But to say that we don't need famous people, we don't need celebrities, is kind of we need we I feel I, we need people to idolize and we need people to look up to. I a think, lot of people why? need that. But, I think but the nobody's going, perfect. I think, I think if you the, put someone on a pedestal, I, they're on. gonna be a piece of shit. I think the going out to eat thing is like one of those things where it's like time and place. If you see somebody out to eat, don't fucking approach them. That's like rude. Well, I think that, yeah. I, well, I also disagree with that too because I think that. You can approach people. It's always okay to approach someone. Ask for pictures, I ra rather. Th that would be weird. Like I but saw, if I, but like if I, for example, if I if I saw Jake Gyllenhaal eating at a restaurant and I was in that restaurant, mm -hmm. I would go up to him really quick and be like, "Hey, listen, I know you're eating, whatever, but like, I I really love everything that you do. It's so it's it's cool to see you just kind of here." And then he'll probably say like, "Oh, thanks, man." And then that's it. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Okay, and then I had that experience. Okay, I agree with you. I would you. never be like, I agree "Dude, you. you're eating. Let me take a photo with Dude, you." Dude, I agree with you. Except, imagine if you're eating and seventy people did that to you. Ex okay, that's fair. That's the thing is that when you're that famous, when you're at her level, it's probably the point where you're like, I cannot go outside without seventy people coming up to me or people crowding me. You know what I'm saying? If it happens once, like. I don't want to be famous like that because that's horrible. I want to have a platform that's a career that I can make money, that I can go places. And yeah, once in a while, someone coming up to me and be like, hey, I like your work. That's fine. You want to be like Scootish level famous. Yeah. Scootish has the best level of fame. Scootish gets recognized on his birthday, which is sick, you know, and it, it, he's like having a good day. And then Scootish takes a picture with the fan. That's sick. But what I'm saying is that like the fame where it's like Michael Jackson level famous, that's literally you're you're literally trapped. But we also live in the age of social media where people want pictures so they can flex on other people. Yeah, they right. they don't want the pictures. They want the pictures because they know it's going to go viral. Right. I'm saying fan behavior is disgusting. I agree. I'm also saying as a celebrity, unfortunately, since we have celebrities, there's a responsibility to just kind of be like, no, not right now. And be polite about it, at least. I'm not saying that. She's yeah, not being polite. Don't be a dick. I'm not saying that she's not being polite. We obviously there's no real context to what she's saying. It's just kind of a, a massive experience, right? And honestly, she it's new for her, so she doesn't really know how to navigate it. But you know, it, it's it, if you hear celebrities talk about it, most of the time they're like, "Yeah, it's kind of like a little bit too much," and I do have to like, for some people, be like, like. No, be a dick, unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, if I can give somebody a little bit of an experience, then I'll do that. Yeah, but the person that you say no to is going to be like, I know, oh, when that's I went the up, problem. That's the problem. That person's going to have an extremely so negative so experience. And I agree. Like, you're going to, like, literally, if someone came up to Frogan and the first time Frogan's like, no, I not would never today. say no, though, to be honest. Yeah, but what if it was well, 100 times anything. a day? Even yeah, then, I wouldn't say no because for me personally, I'm not saying everybody should have that thought. I'm like, they're the reason why I got to where I would be. If I was like Omega famous, you right. know what not I mean? all of them. But here's the thing: you have to realize that I also came from. I'm like a, a product of stan culture. Like, I know what it's like to be on the fan side, and mm -hmm. now that like I have kind of a platform, I would never want to like hurt my fans' feelings for saying no. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but how the, are the you? The only thing I do say no to are like hugs. I, yeah, I, I don't hugs, fucking I like know. hugs, dude. Hugs, I would, I wouldn't do. Okay, that's another thing I don't like about fandom. People did that shit to me at TwitchCon. They're like, "I'm gonna give you a hug." I'm like, "Don't fucking touch me." Don't. Yeah, I usually just put my fist out. Like, I always put a fist. I out. fucking hate hugs. Um, I don't hug my own family. Yeah, yeah, that's the only thing I, I kind of get. I say no to, but even then, I kind of feel bad about I, doing it. Edward took me four fucking years to get Capri to hug me. Yeah, dude. Yeah, and people were joking about it last TwitchCon. They're like, "Oh, I'm gonna see you and blah blah. I'm gonna hug you." I'm like, like "Do not, please don't do that." I was yeah. like, "I will armbar you." Yeah. No, but Practice. I mean, that, that's just my thought because like, I mean, I feel like I have, I don't want to say like a unique perspective, but like coming from somebody that was like so into like stan culture and like meeting people growing up, like you have to realize I was on the age of like Twitter and like Tumblr and we all like thrived off of meeting like our favorite musicians. Like for me, I was like on the band Twitter. So it's like all time low, fallout boy, 
um, like bands like that. So whenever we met them, it was like a celebratory kind of thing within our little yep. community. So, I mean, yeah, like looking back at it, I don't, I don't want to say it's gross, it's, right? Yeah, like I, I feel like the perspective of like paying to meet people is kind of wild. Looking back at that, I don't do that anymore. Paying to meet people, I never really understood. Mm -hmm. I, 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 why would I want to charge somebody to meet me? That's like kind of a lot of bands, in my head. That's like schemey. A lot of bands have that perspective now. Like they don't meet fans yeah. anymore, or they do free meet and greets. Like there's this band I love called The Main. Yeah. Um. They're pretty big in like the emo scene. Never charge to meet fans, but right. they make sure to like meet every single person after their show. Right. Yeah. And that's a good thing. Like if you're like, hey, I'm meeting here, come here and blah, blah. Mm -hmm. But like problem is you have a bunch of idiot fans that are seeing you in like a bad. Imagine you get in a well, fire. People are barracudas, dude. You know, yeah. they want they see something shiny. They want it right now. Yeah. So if, the, if they see the shiny celebrity out, they want that. They yeah. want I only had, that now. I only had one bad experience. We like, saw Long Neck, da Daddy Long Neck, and I was confused mostly. That was so the weird. Best, the best experience I've ever heard, and I, I've been like holding this the whole time because I wanted to talk about it, it was that like, Eli saw Jason Siegel. Yeah. And like the story was great. He I heard he's a really him. good guy too. He was great. Like Eli walked up to him and he was like, him and his wife were like, hey, I, don't, I, know, you're, I know you're drinking, you're having food. It was like a small restaurant in LA. He's like, I just want to let you know, me and my wife are watching your show. We fucking love it. You know, keep doing what you're doing, man. It was just good. And he was like, hey, man, no, no, thank you. And it was like super nice. And then when when he went to leave, he like saw them walking and they were just walking down the street. And he was like, hey, he starts honking his horn in his car. And he's like, see you guys later. I'll see you guys. Like, have a good one. Blah, blah. He's like, thank you so much. That's so nice. And Eli was like, dude, that guy was awesome. Like that made it, you know? Yeah. But like if he would have said no, like not right now, it would have like it's like. But the, that the, that the story is different. It's literally the way I said you should approach it. Yeah, but you, you can't go, do that all the time. It's a compliment. You go, hey, I love your show. Thank you, and then you leave, and that's mm -hmm. it. But you fans don't, don't do that. But you don't call attention to it. You know. Yeah, I mean, it's the you, problem with a lot of the way people do it is like, oh my god, 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 is that is it? Yeah. And then they they go up, and then as soon as you ask for a picture at dinner. Everybody around the is whole, like the I, whole. I, I was saw, like, "That's somebody famous." I Even saw, if they don't know who that guy I, is, exactly. I they, fucking hate that they, shit. They see somebody famous getting like, "Oh, that guy's getting asking for a picture." Who is that guy? Do you want to laugh? Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. And then that's when it becomes and they don't a even know who it is. But that's why you don't ask. Did for someone dinner do that at those to you? Things. I, whenever I went to Playlist Live as a teenager, yeah, I did a social experiment. What was the social experiment with my friend? We created. I was like, okay, we're gonna take pictures with you. We're gonna act crazy and see how many people come up and ask for pictures. They'll too. do it. Yeah, they do it. A we did the same thing to Capri at one of the live events. Yeah. <laughs> a, 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 a whole a whole crowd like came around him. And I was like, dude, this is fucking hilarious. But you know what? I will say though, whenever Raf, uh, Scootish, and I see Jake Gyllenhaal next year on Broadway. We're getting a fucking picture. Wait, oh yeah, wait, for sure. We're wait, getting a fucking wait, picture. Wait, wait that situation has to be like, listen, I know you hate for, I know you hate pictures, but like, it's a, it's a meme of my friend group. I love you, and it would just people would like die, you know, whatever. That's different. Like, you just have to approach it. Like, if you need the picture for the some problem, reason, the yeah, the problem is you, if you the building the excitement, which is hard to do. If, I mean, if you're excited, you're excited. You yeah. can't stop being excited. The buildup of excitement but just is a domino. They're effect. just people, but they're also people that like created, so, created something some that way. like like their art means so much to you. Like growing if up, if I fucking met Vincent Van Gogh, dude, I'd be like, dude, can I? This is crazy. I, I would be like, work. why? I'd be like, hey man, he'll be like, Vincent Van Gogh goes, I'd be what's like up? This. I'll be like, hey man, <laughs> he's like, he goes, you got to talk in my good ear. Yeah, and I go, I go, your art is not that special anymore. Like we have Chad GPT. I like we have, you raised your voice. We have chat GBT <laughs> and I can make your shit in seconds. Eat shit, bitch. You oh cut off God. an ear for nothing. Yeah. No, but I mean like they're like growing up, like I said, like there have been albums that like have like got me through like hard shit in life and like were like kind of like my crutch. So it's like you have that like special connection with the art. You know what I mean? Granted, music isn't that good enough good to me nowadays, like new music where I'm like I hold have it as a crutch. But chaperone is. Can I, we talk about what she did that hold, Frogan sent me? Well, sorry, sorry, we, keep going. Thought. Sorry, sorry, Frogan. Let's go girl. ahead. No, no, you're okay. Sorry. No, no, you're fine. Sorry. Go ahead. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to. Just go back. Go back. No, Frogan. it's fine. I'm just gonna read it. No, I'm not gonna read it now. Finish your story. No, what I'm saying is not important. It is read important. It. it is important. Go ahead, read it. No, no, it is important. Zoom in, Mr. Raptor. Zoom in. Zoom in on my reaction while they argue. I know. I'm done. Let him read it. Wait. Look! Look at her. I'm. I'm look sorry. I just. I want this reaction shot. Bad. 
I want the reaction shot. Frogan, back. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just wanted to make sure that we get this next part. Yeah, go ahead and read it. No, I'm done. I'm not reading it either. Okay, we got it. Got my reaction. What was the end of that thought, though? I don't remember it at this point. All right, well. It wasn't that important. Well, it was. You're just fucking rude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make a joke out of it. Brogan, I'm read sorry. It. Okay, I'll read it now. Here, you read it. Okay, I'll read it. For the bat, can we just cut? Can we cut that? No, no, we're leaving it in. I don't want to leave it in. I just got a good reaction shot of me. And I don't want to leave. No, it we're in. leaving it in. No, I don't want to leave it in. No, we're leaving it. No, in. No, I don't like it. I don't like well, being awkward. Then be a different person. Okay, I'm so sorry. Can I be honest? Yeah, you're mean. You've been mean all day. You've been mean to me all day. You do it. You're doing it again. We've had this conversation fifty times. I'm sorry I cut you off. You're being mean to me again. And I asked you, I was like, why are you upset? You're like, I'm not upset. I'm just, I'm just, I hate myself or whatever the fuck you said earlier. It was mean. And I was like, okay, what's there, be, what's there to be happy about is what you said. You're like, why are you, why aren't you happy? Rafi, be real. I'm being real. I'm getting the reaction shots. I'm getting reaction shots. If I'm not happy, why does it make me a mean person? Because you're being mean to me right before. You're always mean to me. You always yell at me. We had this conversation 8,000 times on the podcast. We have it outside in real life. You always yell at me. You make me, f I, like, I understand. I, I understand. I have ADD, so I absolutely am annoying, and I apologize. I absolutely am annoying. But I just was trying. My brain was like, I think we have to talk about this other thing. That's all that my brain did, and I, I, I absolutely apologize. Read it. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to read it. You read it. All right, give me the computer. I will. <laughs> okay, read it. You throwing a hissy fit right now is not going to fucking work on me. It's not. It's You're also throwing a hissy fit. You're also like, read it. Just go ahead. I'm like, yeah, it's making you, me awkward. You, were, you urgently wanted to read it. Fucking read it. I don't it. urgently want to read it. I'm just trying to. Do, I don't want to do this with a computer. You could do the computer. I don't even know who Chappelle is. I don't know about. <laughs> you just want to go play pickleball so bad. You're trying to rush through it, interrupting people. I'm not trying to go play pickleball so bad. I, for the love of God, I'm not trying to rush through it. I'm just trying to make sure that we have are on topic. That's it. You're yelling at me for doing the topic. If you want to be computer guy, you be computer guy. Am I yelling right now? Say you want to bring your computer. Am I yelling right now? No, you're not yelling. Did I even slightly raise my voice? No, not verbally. <laughs> not verbally. You did it. You did it to me, not in a verbal way. You, you I'm sorry. Got I have upset. a sense of frustration for, for being constantly interrupted. I, I, I'm so sorry. I apologize. I'm sorry for interrupting. Okay, read it. Okay. I, I don't want to read it. I feel weird. I feel this is not. I'm not. A, I'm. I'm a human being. I have feelings. You want to read it? Give it to me. Okay, I'll read it. For the past ten years, <laughs> I've been going nonstop to build my project, and it's come to a point that I need to draw lines <laughs> and set boundaries. <laughs> Huh. It's kind of resonating right now, isn't it? <laughs> I, I want to be an I want to be an artist for a very long time. I've been too in too many non-consensual physical and social interactions, and I want to lay it out and remind you women don't owe you shit. I choose this career path because I love music and art of honoring my inner circle, my inner child. I do <laughs> not sorry. I do not Same thing. accept <laughs> harassment of any kind because I chose a path, nor do I deserve it. When I'm on stage, when I'm performing, when I'm in drag, when I'm at work event, when I'm doing press, I'm at work. Any other circumstances, I'm not in work mode. I'm clocked out. I don't agree with the notion that I owe a mutual exchange of energy, time, or attention to people I don't know, do not trust, or who creep me out. Just because they're, uh, they are uh, expressing admiration, women don't owe you a reason why they don't want to be touched or talked to. This has nothing to do with the gratitude and love I feel for the community, for the people who respect my boundaries, and for the love I feel every person who lifts me up and has stuck with me through the project to get me to where I am now. I specifically talking about predatory behavior disguised as super fan behavior that has be become normalized because of the way women are well known have been treated in the past. 
Uh, people do not assume you know uh, you know a lot about someone's life, personality, and boundaries because you are familiar with their work online. Damn, this is long. If you're still asking, well, if well, if you don't want this to happen, then why did you choose a career you wouldn't uh, knew you wouldn't be comfortable with the outcome of success? Understand this: I embrace the success of the project I love and feel, and the gratitude I have. What I do not accept are creepy people who uh, being touched and being followed. The situation is similar to the idea if a woman wears a skirt, short skirt, and gets harassed or cat called, she shouldn't have worn that skirt in the first place. It is not the woman's duty to suck it up and take it. It is the harass harasser's duty to be a decent person, leave her alone, and respect that she can wear whatever she wants and still deserve uh, a place in this world. I want to love my life, be outside, giggle with friends, and go to the movie theater, feel safe, and do all the things that every single person deserves to do. Please stop touching me. Please stop being weird to my family and friends. Please stop assuming things about me. There have been more to the story. There, There is always more to this story. I'm scared and tired, and please don't call me Kaylee. Mm -hmm. Is that a real name? Yeah, it's yeah. a real name. Uh, I feel more love than I have ever in my life. I feel more unsafe I have ever in my life. Um, this this is a part of myself I save just for my project and all of you. There is a part of myself that is just for me, and I don't want that taken away from me. This is like hard to read on the screen. I don't know why. Thank you for reading this. I appreciate your understanding and support. Yeah, I mean, it's good that she's setting those boundaries now, I guess, for herself or for whoever needs to hear it. I, I mean, like touching and following is absolutely not okay behavior creep behavior reflecting on the, the tiktok she posted like i said i don't think it's weirdo behavior to ask for pictures mm -mm. time and place she can say no you know you're not i think being upset with people saying no is <laughs> like being be upset if, when you're told no is yeah that's cringe. weird yeah like if she she doesn't want to take a picture you were told no call it a day move the fuck on with your life i do like i do understand her not wanting to be called her real name by people she doesn't know like for me I don't get called Frogan. I mean, I don't get called Morgan by people who are my viewers. At least I don't like it. And whenever they do, I always tell them to call me Frogan. Because it adds like a different line of like parasocialness to it, you know? Because like, for example, you, you never go by your real name with your viewers and you don't either. Imagine if they just started calling you out of fucking nowhere. Yeah, it'd be fucking weird. I call Murdog and Greg. He's your friend, though. But I call him Greg. And you, his viewers you, call him Greg. You did, and you started calling him Greg, and all of his viewers started calling him Wait, Greg. Wait, really? Yeah. yeah. They all call him Greg. Yeah, they all call him Greg. Someone, especially when someone like, found out his name. It wasn't me. Someone found out his name and said, your name is Greg. Ha, 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 ha. And that became a meme. And his, yeah, and that became a meme meme in his community. Greg, so ha, then, ha, 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 ha. Greg. Greg so ha, everyone ha. just kept going, Greg, ha, ha. When I found out his name was Greg, it was really disappointing. Well, I, when I found out his whole name, I was like, this is weird. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his whole name is weird. His whole name is weird. Greg is a crazy name to have. Gregory. Yeah. Name one Gregory. famous Greg. Murdoggin. <laughs> True. Greg Kinnear. That's the only one I could think of. He's also Canadian. Like is Greg. he? Yeah. Greg. Are there other Greg, Greg Kinnear is the good guy from Super, from Mystery Men. Yes. Isn't there a Wiggle named Greg? Probably. Yeah, there is. The yellow one? The yellow one's Greg, I think. What happened to the Wiggles? They're still around. The, they just they cycle in uh, new members. They need to there was do... A, there was a whole thing about the Wiggles. Um, they need because to Because their Jeff is like really fucking hot, apparently. Not yeah. apparently. He's he's a good looking dude. I'm I think the out. only original members now are Anthony and Greg. I think Anthony and Greg are still the only Blue ones. Blue and yellow. There. Yeah. Gre uh, Greg used to Jeff be my keeps favorite. Jeff getting cir circulated out. Wake up, but they Jeff. Have a good, I, think they have still have, I think they have a good Jeff right now. I don't know, though. I don't watch the Wiggles. I, Although I loved the Wiggles. Fruit salad. Yeah. Can I be honest? Yum, this guy was yummy. born in 1953, so I don't think Ooh. this is the wrong Jeff. No, that's the old Jeff. The new Jeff, yeah, new Jeff is like the type of uh, Wiggles twenty twenty four. I think he's, I think he's Spanish and he's just ripped. Yummy, 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 yummy fruit, fruit salad. salad. If I was the Wiggles writer, I would write some fucked up ending like they all died on nine eleven. It's a kids show. It's still targeted towards well, kids. I mean, Can I be honest? I saw. Did you guys see that meme of that one? Uh, it's like a video of this dad. He comes home. He's like, I just brought home my daughter from school, and I, you know, took. Grabbed her drawing um, and just looked at it and 
And then he reveals it, and it's a picture of 9-11 that they were coloring in. Yes. So and I funny. was like, what the... F-? And he's like, what the fuck is going on right now? How much would you be paid to tattoo the outline of the Twin Towers on you? I would never do that. Never forget. The price isn't right? It's not my story. What's wrong? I just hear high pitch ringing. Are they cleaning? cleaning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I would never get 9-11 tattooed Not even me. for a million dollars. No, dude. I don't, I, no, no, thank you. One of my favorite <laughs> TV shows of all time. You could get it removed it. after a year. Like for a million dollars, I would have both my shins as each tower. Would you get this? <laughs> what? Ew. What is that? <laughs> Twin towers draped in an American flag no, tattoo? No, dude, no. Why? I a think like dollars. getting the, oh, I, 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 isn't like getting the flag tattooed on you kind of like desecration of the flag? Isn't that like no. kind of against the whole thing? No. Who cares if it is though? I'm a real patriot, dude. I'm not. <laughs> you're worried about flag etiquette when you're getting 9-11 tattooed on you? Yeah. You know, when I was a kid, my, I forgot about this. <laughs> it's at my house. I'll have to show you. My junior high, we can't put on the podcast, so it'll dox me. My junior high book was 9-11 and people were drawing the towers and it became the front and back of the book and I drew them on fire and burning. I colored it in. I'm confused. The yearbook my yearbook cover was 9-11 themed? Yeah, my yearbook. This is when I was a kid. My yearbook for junior high was 9-11 themed and all the kid they made the little kids draw the Twin Towers and they made that the front and the back of the yearbook. Why? Because it was the year of 9-11. 9/11? Yeah, and I, as a kid, Jesus Christ. filled in the book <laughs> on fire. Let us know in the comments if your school also... First of all, let us know in the comments if you're 40 years old. And then let us know in the comments if your school had a 9-11 themed yearbook. You kind of... I'm going to be honest with you. You have to bring that in on September 7th for when we record. I can't show you because it you can says show us the, the front name. and the back. No, dude. We'll blur out the name. I wonder if someone could find it. Maybe. 9-11 was traumatic for me. I mean, if you if you, <laughs> if that's how you dox me through traumatic that. Traumatic for a lot of people, Frogan. No, I, mean, I think it was traumatic for pretty much everybody in America. No, I mean, I mean like, school-wise, like, I couldn't go to school for, like, a month because my school kept getting bomb threats because it was Islamic. That sounds sick. Okay, oh. can I be honest? At least you were yeah. surrounded by the arrows. bomb threats, but not. Right. Yeah, but we were getting targeted. But you can be like, which one of community. which one of you did it? Yo, imagine, <laughs> listen, imagine, imagine being told to go back to your own country. Listen, without the scarf, I don't look Arab. Okay, it's true. What does look Arab mean? Yeah, what does that mean? That's very racist, dude. I, I could pass as a cracker. cracker. It's a real. I'm gonna pull up a picture. Don't bleep cracker. In fact, subtitle it. Make it big. Echo spin it, it too. around. Add reverb on yeah, it. Yeah, re- add definitely add reverb on on a cracker. Cracker, cracker, cracker. Um, yeah. I mean, in the sense of like, I was riding my bike and I got told to go back to my country in my neighborhood. Nice. But it's like, when I say I don't look Arab, I'm fully aware that like without the scarf, I'm very much. I, got, I wish I had like, white the, passing. I wish I had like my humor back then that I do now. Cause if somebody did that to me, I would just be like, you're next. Dude. Yeah. But I, I was, just I was also, did you get bullied for 9-11? I was four years old. No, I hate, I pretended I was Mexican. Oh really? I talk. I got some bull- people. Um, yeah, I did get bullied for 9-11. Yeah. I got I got harassed by my teachers. Did you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they were like low key fucked up. That's an American Girl doll. That's not you. Me. They give you highlights at that young of an age. I'm the, it was the son. That was the son. Yeah. Kids. But yeah, like imagine telling that bitch. Go back to their country. Go back to your country. I would do it. Go back to your country. Also, hair reveal much? Hair doesn't look like that anymore. It's the same. Yeah, it Imagine doesn't, it's just the same. It doesn't, it doesn't bleach in the it's sun. Just, it's just pigtails still no, in, in there. No. Side note, as I got older, my hair has gotten kind of lighter. That's weird. It usually gets darker. It got darker. I think Dominic was blonde. Yeah, like You I were have, kind of strawberry blonde there. No, I have dark. The tips were, I have dark brown hair. In that picture? Yeah, like the roots. Great man. Mm. And yeah, it's then, dark. Yeah. And then as I got older, my hair got lighter for some reason. But now I dye it. That's weird. Did I dye it? No, I think it's a hijab thing. I think like if you keep your hair hidden, it just gets lighter. Well, that doesn't make any sense because usually it doesn't hair gets need as lighter. much sun. 
Well, hair, light hair is an indication of light sun, of a lot of sun, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it what's is. it like photo, It's called photo, photo something. Photo synthesis. Photo genesis. You know, in Lebanon, like they taught me that they put Pepsi in their hair to dye it. <laughs> they put, dude. My grandpa, he is old. Okay, yeah. and he thought that if he looked young at the hospital, the hospital won't kill him. So he had white hair. He dyed his hair with uh, Fanta, orange Fanta. And he had orange as hair. Did he do it in Lebanon? Was he trying to do it here? He did it here, but it was my my Lebanese my Lebanese grandpa. Oh. Dude, it's crazy. You could dye your hair with the, like Pepsi. You could dye it with Kool Aid. And we drink that. Yeah. And we drink it. One thing I used to do. You taste your hair. Yeah. Uh, growing up, when I was, a, I was a teenager, I wore the scarf. But my grandma had like a private backyard. Mm -hmm. I'd spray lemon juice on my hair, and the sun would change, give me highlights. Yeah, that's what they do mm -hmm. there. They yeah. do it with Pepsi because of, I, I bet the Pepsi in Lebanon has got like acid in it, and they probably it's got might, acid here too. I used to know Newsflash. a guy. There was a guy that I knew that had Sir. His name is Serge, and everyone thought he was cool in Lebanon because he had like white. Blonde spots, yeah, but he was like, I did. Oh, he was like Pepsi. Dennis Rodman of Lebanon, yeah. yeah. Would he's you like, ever dye your hair? Uh, no, like, like what color, like blonde, any color, like now. I would do it if I became a if this was my job, yeah. What, would, would you, what color would you do? I would bleach it just to see how fucking uh, how see if I get any more privilege. What's up, brother? I'm trying to imagine you with like blonde I hair. Sneeze. I had, I, I, hold on, I had, I had, <laughs> I had, I had wait, God I had blonde bless hair. you. You want to see what I look like with blonde hair? Yeah, because I know when you were younger, you had like a blonde chunk. No, I didn't. Did you not? No, I dyed my hair. Was it fully blonde? I dyed half my head blonde. It's like the skunk look. I had red. No, in my I hair. dyed half my head blonde. What was it like? Half down I the had middle. A mohawk, and I dyed half of it blonde, and the other half was just my normal hair what color. Were you, what were you? But going also, for? it wasn't blonde because I peroxided my hair, and it turned like a burnt orange. Dude, oh my god, my I did one time when I was having a menti B. So a long time ago, whenever I'd have mental breakdowns, I would just dye my hair different colors. I don't do that anymore. Um so I'd bleach my hair one time and I swear to god my hair started smoking when I dyed it. And then I didn't know you're supposed to tone it, so it looked like the ugliest, like burnt yellow. It was so bad. Then I dyed it burgundy. My mom used to dye her hair a lot. She doesn't do it anymore. She would tie like a like a burgundy. I was on hiatus for a while of dyeing my hair. Yeah. I didn't dye my hair since 2017. And then I let it all grow out and I cut off the dyed parts. And then I dyed it again. And that was it. And then I dyed it again this year. And that was it. And I like it so much better. Except when the roots grow. That's the fucking worst. But I have come from a point of privilege where it's like, no one sees it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find it? No, I just found this picture of me. I forgot about this. <laughs> That's how you smile now, too. It's uh, crazy. Um, I feel like we've never seen younger pictures of you. Yeah, I don't really got them. Why? Because I was never young, dude. I've always been this. You've age. never had younger pictures of you? Yeah, I've never seen, like, Raffi, like, five years old. Yeah. And you never will. Why? Because I don't have them on deck. Raff's mom... Send them over. Yeah, go ahead. Text me, mom. Send me the photos of me. Um, I won't show it to them. Why? Because you don't need to see me as a child, you well, freaks. Do you want to see a picture that's like literally me now? No. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> that is you. <laughs> oh, my God. It's my cat, Sarah. She was a bitch. So anyways, yeah, I don't think Chapel Rowan is necessarily in the wrong but i think there's a level of responsibility and kind of adjustment that needs to happen with her and her career that that's cool that's sick dude that's sick. <laughs> that's sick that fucking rips you look like a famous person but i can't remember who it is it's fred durst dude hold on you look like you look the leads there's dominic <laughs> did you yeah, it's crazy you guys look like uh you do look dude, like, we look like leads, ricky martin ricky martin smash mouth smash mouth Dude, we look you sick. Look like, you look like uh, some 41. So the My community, when I first started, just took that picture over and over, made an, an Instagram with it. Oh, yeah. they, they know the picture? They know the picture, and then they put me as a fucking white visco girl. Oh, my I love God. That. And then they, like, put this stuff. And then at some point, they just put me in an egg. I don't really understand what this is. It was bad. That was before AI became AI. Yeah, they just did. Yeah, this was, like, in 2000. Yeah. 2000, oh, 2000, you know what picture? They were making, we, back <laughs> yeah. when we had a... 
get people to make actual photos instead of just using AI. The, the pictures I never would show of myself were would probably be from 2011 mm -hmm. to 2013. Well, there you go. That was, that was a bad time for me. <laughs> <laughs> um okay you want to talk about uh what's her name yeah yeah so internet meme of the month yeah i want to say that's popular is very demure very mindful it's so popular now that i sent for a photo yesterday of of netflix there's a category on netflix that says very demure very mindful and i was about to just i saw joe biden do it. it too i just i'm i'm a hating ass bitch okay i'll admit it yeah okay Never, and maybe I'm getting old. Yeah. I'll attribute it to that. Maybe it's a Zoomer thing. But I was like, this is, I'm like, I don't get the hype of it. Okay. I, I don't get the hype of it, but I am glad that Jules, the creator that like put it on the map, is collecting the coin from it. Well, that's not what's happening. Not anymore. No, so basically, she said that she made enough money on TikTok to pay for her transition. She made enough money to support her family and her friend mm -hmm. that was facing homelessness. So she's collecting the back. She did like a fucking Zillow ad. Nice. Um, this house is very demure. Um, but somebody by the name of do you have the name pulled up? If yeah, not, then so Pop Crave, there's an article that says, according to the new legal docs obtained by TMZ, someone named Jefferson Bates, which sounds like a murderer. A murderer. In the Washington State in Washington State, filed docs to trademark very demure dot 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 very mindful dot dot dot, which is the opposite of very mindful, very demure. It, no, the, the, that's, that's, the that's right. Oh, is what it? they trademarked is the way they say it. Oh, so they trademarked it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and the person, uh, the creator, responded, I guess, with a video, which I'm going to show you guys. Yeah. Right now. She uh, took it down. She took so it you're down. getting the scoop on this video. But I saved it. As soon as I tried sharing it and it said video unavailable, I saved that shit so yeah. fast. Um, yeah. So we have the the uh, video here, which I'm going to pull it up. So basically, before we, before we watch the video, somebody, which I didn't even think you could really do, trademark, just bought the trademark. Very demure. Very mindful. So technically... The person, uh, Jules, right? That's her name. Jules can't sell that product. And she, because she was making merch with it. Yeah. Which, to be honest, I'm like, yeah, collect your bag, but it's so, so fucking stupid to me. I'm sorry. And if people will buy stupid shit, let them yeah. do it. Yeah, I'm gonna play it right now. All right, let's see it. Sorry for some reason. Not recording, so we just had to. That's fine. We'll yeah. just, we'll I already just sent the video in the future. Okay, yeah. This merch situation All right, so here's the like, video. Really, like, just put your mic next to it, kind of, so we can line it up. Like, uh, like I've just invested so much money and time into this, and I feel like I did it wrong. Like, I feel like I didn't try hard enough. And, like, like I wanted this to, like, do so much for, like, my family and, like, provide for my transition. And, like, I just feel like I dropped the ball. Like, I feel like I fucked up and, like, someone else has it now. And I like don't even know what I could have done better because like I didn't have the resources. And I'm just like sitting in bed, just like feeling so fucking bad about all of this. So she posted that. Yeah. And I was seeing on Twitter, I mean, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know shit about the law. But they're saying something about like um somebody can trademark something, but if you can prove that you're the one that like kinda like made it, then they can't really enforce that trademark upon you. There is other. So trademark is like weird. Cause like there's a lot of rules to it. There's actually like trademark people who have to take their own test. Like, like there's trademark. The bar? Yeah. They have to take their like own a certification. Bar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they have to take their own certification. There's a trademark bar and they're not even like, they're like basically like, what's it called? Um, when I was like reading about it, they're basically kind of like, uh, they're a lot like contractors, not contractors. What are the people like architects? Because they draw like those things, like trademark and uh, patents. Yeah, like patent. You they know, draft people it. they draft like picture. They literally draw pictures and shit. Yeah, so it's like it's called patent bar. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Bar. So, anyways, the patent bar. So the thing is, like, my understanding from back in the day is that people could, you know, and uh, people could technically, um, and this is my opinion. Uh, people could technically like what I thought 
what I thought back in the days, people, you could like mail something to yourself. And then if you could prove that you had it before, you still like own it. So, you know, opinion, um, not legal advice, you know, opinion. Uh, I don't want to get sued. Opinion. <laughs> opinion. Uh, uh, drafts are put opinion. Put opinion. See, not legal put advice. Put your camera. Opinion. opinion. Not your attorney. You know, this is just my opinion. I think that if you, you can prove that it was your thing before, um, if if you could prove it was you gotta, a, you gotta be able to prove it before the patent was even made though. Right? Yeah, but like there was like poor man's patent back in the day where people would just mail themselves something and then they would keep it in the box and then they would like show it to someone and they could prove that they had it before. Yeah, you can't just do it because that'd be fucked, dude. Imagine like like Steve Carell's. That's what she said. I could just go steal that and patent it and it's yeah. mine now. Yeah, it, it's just like the drama was apparently Demir girl took it from somebody else. Mm-hmm. And that was the whole thing, and she like made it popular. It shouldn't. You shouldn't. Can I be How honest? You fucking trademark Patent a that. phrase. Yeah, dude. I think that's such bullshit. It's remember bullshit. When, remember when Paris Hilton tried to trademark that's hot? Yeah. Did she? Yeah, yeah she did. Like if if you like trademarked Capri Sun Poppy, yeah, I'd get it. If you trademarked raffle ticket or raff or raffy, I'd get it. But trademarking something like very demure, very mindful, very mindful. I mean, sure, collect your bag, whatever, but I'm just like... Well, the whole reason to get a patent is so that you can sell shit with that mm -hmm. phrasing in mind. Mm -hmm. And if somebody else if somebody else tries to sell that, you can stop them from selling that and also and or also take their money away from them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole reason for the patent, just in general. You guys ever heard but of But it's so troll? stupid because you know this rich person is just like... I'm going to buy this because it's funny to buy it. Yeah. It, it, apparently, it's like a billionaire from like Washington. Yeah. That's the only people who could afford it. Yeah. You ever heard of patent trolls? No. They like do that shit. Yeah. They go, they, they patent stuff. They patent shit and then they just sue people that have like, like, uh, have stuff that's similar. Yeah. Or they'll like, they'll trademark a book and they'll put it on the internet and then they'll put the pictures up. Yeah. And they'll be like, oh, any, anyone can just open this book. And then what will happen is like a news reporter will use the pictures. And then they'll sue the fuck out of you. Yeah. Apparently, Pepsi tried going after this girl named Sierra Mist. That's so funny. And then that's her name. Yeah. And then the patent expired. They didn't know, so she bought the patent for Sierra Mist. Oh, that's so good. That's so good. They uh, changed the name of Sierra Mist to Starry. Yeah, to Starry. <laughs> that's the name. Oh, because she bought it. Yeah. Uh, I, don't I don't know. Actually, I don't know if it is. I don't know the time. I don't know the timeline, but yeah, she bought the patent. That would be so why funny is it if called that's Starry? the reason why. Dude, well, they changed it to Starry a year, a couple oh, years ago. Oh, no, that ago. shit no, sucks. No, I thought they did Starry um, two, like, two years ago, or beginning of last year, even. So, 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 I mean, what are the next steps for this person? Like, what, are, what, what can she do? Oh, didn't this rich person also do something cringe? So, yeah, so this one girl, she's a fan of Jules. Yeah. She trademarked very demure... Very cutesy, which is like basically the second part of the phrase, right? And it is gifting it to Jules, so Jules. Will but this own is a different it. person. This isn't the yeah, person different who person. bought the original. Yeah. Okay, I thought the original per uh, person who purchased very demure, very mindful, also mm. bought very demure, very cutesy, and was like, "You can have that one." No, 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 because that would have been the shittiest move a person could do. But then why did? So this person bought it. This other person bought yeah, it. Yeah, just just so like that other person, so the so billionaire she, so couldn't, this person yeah. couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice. What a good fan. Yeah, that's a good person. I think very demure. Like if it, if it has to be in the fucking universe. Yeah, I think the very demure, very cutesy is like the better one for merch. It is very. It's better for merch. Yeah, I agree. There's I'm two different phrases. I'm mad about Sierra Mist. <laughs> I, saw, I, saw, I didn't know it was gone. <laughs> yeah, Dude. Sierra Mist has been gone. And, it's always been Starry now. And the now. Starry sucks. The logo sucks. The branding sucks. It's like, ugly. It's ugly. It's ugly, it's but just, damn, does it taste good. It, does it taste better than Sierra Mist? It's the same product. Can I be honest? Why the fuck would they just not make it called Sierra Mist and keep Sierra Mist? Well, I wonder if it's because of the patent. It's What's not. It just on? says that it was because it failed to great, get market share. I'm like... Okay, dude, but you also like laid the foundation to to like do this branding, and Sierra Mist was like the official drink of the fucking NBA. That's true. It was sick as fuck, dude. No, and it wasn't. Was it not? There's a lot of NBA. Remember the Sierra Mist cranberry sprite? Was it cranberry seven up? You're right. You're right. That's no. It was cranberry sprite. Was it? Cran 
Was it? Yeah. But who the fuck is the willingly spray. picking Sierra Mist? Huh? Who the fuck is willingly picking Sierra Mist? Dude, it's Fresca all the way. I will say, though, in my fridge at home, I currently have Starry Zeros. Do you? Mm hmm. Dude, fres I, you get Frescas. I don't. Why? There's zero calories, there's zero everything. Fresca. What flavor? The main flavor. There's mm -hmm. no diet Fresca. The fuck is a fresca? We have a problem. a fresca. It's the same thing as like a Sierra Mist and uh, fresca is like poor people's drink. It's literally, it's literally just. Fresca. It's basically just carbonated water with. Ew. It's literally, no, it tastes like Sierra Mist. Okay. That tastes exactly like a Sprite, like a Sierra Mist. It's a little bit tangier, but it's a dude. It's a fresca. Whenever I frescas was, are great for you. Fresca. I've never heard of that. Keep drinking fresca, chat. This stream is sponsored. This this <laughs> podcast is sponsored by fresca. Dude, I would love a Fresca sponsorship. Wait, Fresca, let me Google it. Okay, okay, this is confusing me. Oh, here it goes. Sprite is owned by Coke. Yes. Yeah. I forgot about Sprite. That's the cranberry Sprite. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's NBA. Seven Up is owned by uh, uh the Kella. third uh, is owned by the company that makes uh, uh Dr Pepper. Coke. No. no, 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 no. Seven Up is a third company because yeah, they all. I thought Dr Pepper owns Coke. No, Dr Pepper. Oh, no, Dr. Dr Pepper, Pepper is, his own, is his own company. Ew, I hate Dr and then, Pepper. I like Dr. I love Pepper. Dr Pepper. And then there's a third company, which is the PepsiCo, and they own Seven Up. You want me to tell you something fucked up? No, what? I'm sorry. They own Starry. They own Starry. Sorry. Yes. So Starry. Celsius. Yeah. Kruger. Dr Pepper got into legal trouble with I think Pepsi with right. their cola flavor. Oh, so really? for a while, the cola flavor was discontinued, but Pepsi bought Celsius. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. Everything is fucking monopolized. Wait, yeah. Keurig owns Dr. Pepper. Yeah, Keurig. I, I read it Kruger because I was like, I don't know why the fuck. This, what is this? <laughs> Freddy, I thought it was a name. Freddy Krueger owns Dr. Pepper. But Keurig owns Dr. To get Pepper. Into our dreams. And they also own 7-Up, which also, did you ever play the 7-Up game back in the day? On oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, yeah. and you'd always pick the people that you had a crush on. No. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. You never played Seven Up in school? Huh? You never played Seven Up in school? We're talking yeah, about we did, up. but we never heads played up Seven Up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then you touch their finger, you'd be like, you'd be like, no, I never picked people down, I had bitch. a crush on. I did. Yeah, yes, yeah, what you do. No, I never did that, dude. I always picked the least suspecting people that didn't think of. <laughs> right, I was just trying to play the game. You know, you were playing the game. I was never picked as a picker, you know? You never I was never, no, they didn't like me enough. So oh. I never... What did you do in high school that people fucking hated you? They just didn't like me, You played in middle school. I it was middle mostly school? elementary school, middle school. Oh, okay. Yeah. High school was fine when I was a junior I senior. I had one motherfucker. Because I became popular. Because we would put on the free... Popular. We would put on free plays for everyone. And they'd be like, yeah, you were that guy in the play. And I was like, yeah. And then one time I wore hot pink pants. I was just trying to find myself, stylized. And I liked LMFAO. And then <laughs> one of the kids called me the F word. And I, I was on, we were going to take our photos. I got out of line, got up in his face. I was like, say that again, dude. I'll pull down your pants and fucking spank you right here. And then the teacher was like, dude, what are you doing? Get back in line. I was like, oh, this little fucking piece of shit. I went off on him. And he backed off. He's like, oh, oh. I'm like, yeah, boy. Did you ever? Oh, here's the thing. And, um, and yeah, I never wore those pants again. In high school, you know, I got made fun of for clothing I'd wear too. Mm -hmm. I remember striped pants. Okay, I was ahead of the fucking times. Mm -hmm. 2012, people would laugh at me and point at me in the hallway. 2013 comes around, same bitch is wearing them. I'm like, okay, but because I was a little emo bitch, I'm getting made fun of for it. But now you're wearing it. Striped pants. Yeah, vertical black and white. Yeah, the pants. black and white. Those are in. They Those were. were. They're still kind of in a little 2013. bit. 2013. Those were in. Yeah, you were. It was. It was, before, it was ahead of your time. To be honest, I wore them because were of Tyson Ritter. In your time. Definitely you in my time. Of Tyson Ritter? Uh, from the Alan Mercury Jacks. Right. I left emo when I... I never was an emo kid. No, you were punk. Yeah. Talk to us about punk. But I never was an emo kid, but I left emo. <laughs> like, I, I I left the... Like, following the emo trends probably in, like, 2008, nine. Can I be honest? Yeah. I stopped following them probably in, like, 2019. That's insane. I didn't know emo was still around that long. I was like, oh, it's over. It's Did, all over. Am I, I, I was never in that phase. It's not a phase. It's a fucking lifestyle. Well, you said you stopped doing that lifestyle. I mean, I, I mean, I think I'm very much still an emo bitch. Just not. I don't look the part anymore. Hmm. I, I, I want to. Sorry, sorry. I was gonna ask you what we're at because I want to talk about music, but I want to do it on no, the yeah. Patreon. No, yeah, we're ending. We're ending very 
in a very demure, very, very mindful, mindful way. Well, hold on, before we end, like, the way what? Capri ended the podcast. Yeah, <laughs> very demure. Fuck you. <laughs> what can this? So this? So what can this girl do? What can she do? Nothing, right? She's, she'll be fine. She'll fucking. I, I mean, thought, at the end of the, the day, like, what's pretty wild? What the fuck are you gonna? <laughs> no, dude, it's fucked. It's fucked. But I was like, what would you? No, can't be a bitch. Leave it up, dude. Let the world no, just keep sad. fucking. No one's gonna take down your TikTok for you for someone patenting. That's not how patents can work. Can't be a bitch. Uh-huh. If you're gonna cry on the internet, at least look good while doing it. That's really fucked That's up. That's fucked up. I am fucked, really up. fucked up. That was you are fucked up. I know. That was fucked. Am I wrong though? I've seen you cry and you looked ugly. I look cute when I cry. You know why? Because I get big lips. Yeah. I think you think your lips have a mind of its own and just grow. I don't think you. The times I've seen you cry, your lips have looked the same to me. Yeah, they don't get bigger. If anything, they get smaller. No, they get bigger. Because you're like this. I don't cry like that. I do not cry. I, I, listen, I don't cry like that. One of our thumbnails is you crying. Yeah, it's literally me going like. I think you cry on purpose just to look good now. I haven't cried in a while. Could be on purpose. I didn't cry. Yeah. I was going to say, I think I cried yesterday, but I didn't even cry in therapy. Mm -mm. You guys cry in therapy? Sometimes. No. Okay. I don't. I don't do therapy right. What do you do in there? Dude, I don't know, man. I don't think I, don't think I do therapy right. I think you right. do it wrong. She was like. Well, she's, she's, I even talked sorry, to her about well, it. No, go ahead. Uh, she was, He is like. I don't like what do we talk about, dude? He's like, hey, how was your week? How have you been? And I'm like, good. I, 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 what do I say? Do you feel like, okay, I feel you, good. That's how my therapy sessions are, but I have shit to say. How are she was like, how is what have has happened in the last two weeks that we haven't talked? Uh, yeah, and do, I tell them. Do they not give you guys tools to like use when you leave? No, because I don't present like I have huge issues the most of the thing we talk about is that how i don't get enough sleep i don't sleep yeah but do you like have i haven't had like a good night's sleep for three months now okay if i tell my therapist i don't have a good night's sleep for three months number one he would stop the session and be like let's focus on that and let's figure out how we're gonna get you to sleep that's what he's trying to do he's like you know have you taken your melatonin have you tried that and i was like yeah but it makes me feel groggy and then i lucid dream which keeps me awake yeah do you think you have sleep apnea no i just don't think i sleep well i think you also have really bad habits before bed that's probably why you're not sleeping well i lay in bed so the problem is is like i because i because i work right yeah so i i work until i'm like i feel a, a waft of being tired and i'm like good this is my moment so then i'm already ready for bed i go into bed and I'm sitting in quiet for a little bit. But now I'm so wired for the process of going to sleep that I'm just up. So if I'm up in darkness for a couple hours, I'm like, I, what am I going to do? So I turn the TV on to something I've already listened to a thousand times before. I turn the lights down low on the TV. I wear my blue light glasses so I don't get affected by the light. And I will fall asleep within like an hour or two of that. And then I'm, I'm, lucid, I'm starting to lucid dream, which is not good for me. Can I give you advice? What? There's two there's a couple of things that I did that changed my life cuz I used to like have to smoke weed every day to go to sleep. Yeah. And then I started doing melatonin and then after 2 years of doing melatonin, I there's really bad long-term studies on it. So yeah, I was like I need do it for like I don't even do weeks. a full dose. Yeah, I did it for 2 years. I do a half a dose of melatonin. I'm probably going to have fucking de dementia. But anyways, <laughs> literally I probably going to have dementia. How <laughs> funny. Not funny, dude. <laughs> I'm going to What do you mean my grandfather of you? died of it? Me? Anyways, I watched my grandfather. I just see his pee pee all the time because he used to slap me. You know, he's my grandfather. You said dementia used to slap the shit out of me. Yeah, my grandma had really? my great grandma yeah, had dementia. Used to beat me. So if you have dementia, you're gonna beat me. Yeah, thank God. Anyways, the deal is, what I would do is, don't uh, pick a sleep time and stick to it. Like this is my sleep time. Well, like that's your issue. There's number one. Number how? two, you midnight have to. every night. Just midnight. Pick a time that's reasonable that you can. But then I feel guilty. For what? For what? Sometimes we like to stay up and like play Even if we play games. Don't do that. I mean, I told do what you. I do. I was like. I feel guilty. But you're, you're fucking up your mental health for it. Yeah, but my friends. No, they fuck us. Hang out with fuck me. them, dude. I do no, the I same thing. I want to hang out with my friends. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> my friends need me more. No. They need me okay. now more Listen. than ever. Okay. My friends the, need me okay. now more Let, than can ever. Can I give you the advice? Uh, yeah. The best advice. I'm telling you. This is like for the pod. This is really important. I go to sleep every time around the same time. I, I, you could take melatonin or whatever. It's not going to help. I got a white noise machine, which was life changing. One yeah. thing that always wakes me up is the light. So any light at all wakes me up. So I got the sleep mask. Mm -hmm. And then two hours before bed, 
two hours. I just turn off all the lights in my house. No, fu- I don't turn on a fucking light because you want your brain to naturally produce melatonin. Right. So you're turning off the lights so your brain produces it and then take your TV, whatever you're watching on and turn it all the way down and do not watch fucking TV in bed at all. Put your or iPhone, phone. close close your phone. Yeah, I don't you use have my YouTube phone. premium. You can, you can listen to a podcast, put a podcast on, put it on, but turn off your, t- your phone. Yeah. And if you're t- if you're not sleeping at all, get the fuck out of your bed. Yeah. So I do most of that. Leave your bed when you're sleeping. Leave my bed. If I'm not, if you're not at sleeping, all. get up and do something. I've done that a couple of times, but then I'm up for and, the and next then, 48 and then write shit, like do something or read a well, book. That's the problem I'm having. I haven't been gratitude journaling. Like I've been doing for months. I haven't, uh, I, my, my therapist is like, you know, maybe you should start meditating. And I'm like, dude, I haven't like mantra or meditated for years. Maybe I'll try that, which I'm doing this week. He said, you have to have a sleep. All this shit he's saying, you, this is what we talk but, about. But sleep time, sleep time, it's, it's sleep time is the most important because if you keep shifting your sleep time, your brain is going to go, I don't know when to produce melatonin. I have no idea. Right. And you live on a rhythm. So like every time you stay up to play games, all you're doing to yourself is you're actively like taking years off your life. Like genuinely. Don't tell him that. Genuinely. Seriously. This. Huh? No, no, but it, there's 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 a thing is that how many years you you have to know too if you stay up to play you're like hey by the way tomorrow I'm gonna feel like shit because you are you're gonna feel like off, yeah. off you're 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 it's one of those things I had this disorder I had sleep issues for years and years and years and I couldn't figure it out and once I like stuck and got disciplined on a routine and just like actually focused on doing it it sucked for like six months it didn't work and melatonin. It depends. You metabolize melatonin. You know, some people don't metabolize it. What do you mean? Like, so there's some people that just piss it out. It doesn't work for them. No, it works. Is that, but the problem is, is like I'll, because I, because I will get like that Fucked huge up rush. No, I'll get that huge rush of being tired. I'm like, great, that's the moment. So I have to seize that one moment. But yeah. if I don't seize that moment exactly when it's happening, it's over. Then it's over, and I don't get another rush of. And then you're sleepy. melatonin hungover. And then I'm melatonin hungover, which happens all the time. It even fucking if, sucks. Even at like a half a dose, which is 1.5 milligrams. Yeah, I think so I used I'm to like, take half a pill. The magic dose is three to five. I can't take that much. It'll fuck you up. It really fucks me up. Like, like 1.5 is really fucking me up. Try three. Imagine me on five. Well, no, I was taking three. And that's when I started lucid dreaming. At three? And, yeah. yeah. And, so, then mm, I started, okay. and then I started being really hungover in the morning. And then I decreased it to 1.5, and I was lucid dreaming less, but I was still just as hungover. You know Can what? I give you a suggestion? What? That I used to do? My therapist said, get some B-complex. Don't, don't do melatonin. Do B-complex, so you relieve stress a little bit more. B-complex. I was going to say, take, you're not, you're not, you're not going to like my answer. What? But trust me. Benadryl. I'm not doing no, that. you can't do that. It literally fucks I'm up your brain that. for life. I did it. I'm not yeah, doing it's that. really bad. I, but now, like, I don't do it anymore. I used to do it because I used to have really, my anxiety used to be so bad to the point where I couldn't sleep. Are you having, like, racing thoughts or something? Huh? Are you having, like, racing thoughts? Um, <sighs> yeah, that's a yes. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, but maybe nothing, ju- nothing may- specific, though. Maybe journaling before bed will help. Well, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, my, been mine aren't journaling. specific either. They're just all your friends are going to die. Your family's going to die. Well, I, go but the thing is, those are anxiety driven. I don't have anxiety driven thoughts. Oh, okay. It's just a bunch of random whatever. Mm-hmm. If it means your brain is still turned on for yeah. some reason, you have to mm-hmm. turn it off. Uh, what I also was going to say, fuck, it was going to kill me. I don't know. The one thing, the biggest thing is that, oh, melatonin. Uh, I did a, a study like with my watch and I tracked myself and on weed, uh, this is why I'm like very opposed to like people who smoke every day. Weed reduces your REM cycle and melatonin does the same thing, but just a little bit less. And it reduces the amount that you're in REM sleep. And there's like long-term studies on the amount. Cause I, I can track myself. Like I get less REM sleep on those. Mm-hmm. And, uh, this was like three years of me tracking and, uh, weed and melatonin both reduce it. And they did long-term studies and not g- having like adequate REM. That's why you're having fucked up dreams because your REM is short and you're waking up in REM. That's yeah. where you dream. So I think I was wearing a watch for like a month straight to check out what was going on. I think I maybe got like 20, 30 minutes of REM. That's fucked. It needs like two hours or an hour and a half or something like that. Yeah. Uh, 20, 30 minutes is really bad. That's why you're waking up. You're waking up in the middle of REM and you're dreaming. That's why you're waking up. But Long-term studies on people who don't get REM are like Alzheimer's, like dementia. Like it, it's damaging for your brain. They say it skips a generation. Now, 
I don't want to. No, I'm not even going to say what I'm saying. I don't want it to come off as a flex. Or what? No, as, do it. As, soon as, my, as soon as my head hits the pillow, I'm dead. That's I'm like, amazing. That's, great. That's, that's amazing. Awesome. Yeah. I like, I don't, I used to not be like that. Well, that's I wonderful. knocked the fuck out. I don't know why. Right. Yeah. You shouldn't have brought that up. No, I feel like shit. We're going to fix you. No. We're going to fix we're not. you. It's, cra- it's crazy because I was exactly where you are. And I had to do weed. I did weed for like five years. Would yeah, you try I can't weed? Smoke weed? I can't smoke weed. What about edible? No. Weed makes me really fucked up. We're do what research. does weed do? do We're going to do research about it. Uh, weed makes me hyper fixate on pain. So if I have like a little cut, hmm. it amplifies it like a thousand percent. The best thing to so do. So like my hand will be on fire. Do you ever watch, do you ever just uh, smoke, turn on a movie and like eat? Yeah. Okay. And it still makes you hyper fixate on pain? Yeah. It depends on the weed you're smoking too. Because then after a while, like my body hasn't moved and then I become super aware of my body. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, my feet, I have to like move my toes and I, I can't. Like, it's really, it's really hard to do that. And then I'm like, oh, okay, so. I haven't smoked since I got the dog because I'm always like, I'm going to drop something. Because when I got high, I was like, I may drop food and then the <laughs> dog's going to eat it. And then I'm tripping. And then I'm like, wait, is the dog in its cage? Because I'm high. Because you're just yeah. fucking t- like tweaking out. I've right. never gotten high before. Well, luckily for you. <laughs> well, luckily for you, we're doing it on the Patreon right yeah. now. Yeah. Check us out on Patreon. This is the end of the main episode. We're going to do the rest of the episode on the paywall. If you're a YouTube member, you also have access to all these videos as well in the unlisted channel. And also our patrons, thank you so much for uh, subscribing and here. being members and yeah, all right that here. stuff as well. All the new members, thank you so much for being new members. We love you. Uh, you got to the end of it. I forgot what we told you to say, but just say that. Oh, we we'll, just, we'll pick a new one. Okay, what's the new one? I was gonna say 9-11, but I don't know. Nah, if that's 9-11 right. it is. Do 9-11. <laughs> Do not let's see how creative you can get with posting 9-11 in the comments. That's it. Right? Do 9-11 with emojis only, but don't use the plane or the towers. Yeah. Yeah. Do not well, I want to see how creative you can get with that. Yeah. There Amazing. You go. That'd be really good. Amazing. Um and yeah, is there anything else? No. Oh, I mean, obviously, sub to the Patreon. We're going to probably do more of those live streams that are exclusive. And yep. it was fucking great, dude. Thank you guys all that showed up last time. And yep. if you missed it, it's archived. So, so go watch if it. you remember, you can watch it. And there you go. And right. that's it. We'll see you guys on the Patreon. Bye. See you later, alligator. In a while. Crocodile. Look, I mean, you can even do it with your legs like this. You just go. Don't. No, that's weird. That's gay. <laughs> I would never do that. I would never put myself in that position ever. Uh, it doesn't matter if this it's is gay. This is so gay, dude. <laughs>